Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I explore how I attempt to pursue my personal and professional goals. Um, I am an academic, as I said. I'm also a, a wife and a cat mom and a passion planner ambassador. So if you like um, any of the products I show you in this video, you can take a look at some of the links I put in the description. Uh, but for the most part, I'm using this channel to keep myself accountable and also to share with you some of the strategies that I have for um, keeping on top of all the various tasks that I have as, as an early career academic and how I achieve um, the goals that I set for myself or, or at least attempt to do that. Um, so this video is going to focus on planning the week of December 13th through the 19th. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that some weeks I decorate ahead of time. I am doing that this for this particular week because um, I am still in the middle of grading final projects for my students. I need to get my grades in by tomorrow. Um, I'm just busy, y'all. So I decided to decorate ahead of time, ahead of this video, because it is, of course, easier for me to think about what I want to do when I'm not on camera. But I do want to think about how I'm going to spend my time this week think about what I need to actually do before I um, leave to visit my family in California. So just a few things more. And plus, I'm going to roll out my um, my recommendations for um, Christmas videos. And um, so I want to drop those down here so you can see them and potentially watch them if you want to. So as you can see, I not only decorated ahead of time, but I also went ahead and I dropped the few um, fixed appointments that I have next week. As you can see, because the semester is over, there are not a lot of things on the calendar anymore, not compared to uh, the current week. And um, I mean, not compared to previous weeks, even this week, there's not a ton of things. Um, this week is going, you know, pretty well. Unfortunately, my husband's family dog passed away. So that is the sad thing that happened um, so far this week. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be there for him. I know how hard it is. I know how attached we are to our cat, for example, and just how devastated I would be if I lost her. So I'm trying to be there for him. I'm also trying to get, as I said, my grades turned in. Um, so, but there are a lot of things that pop up this week, a lot of events and meetings and stuff. And, um, and that is just not the case after the semester officially ends. So I do have um, some fixed appointments. I have my therapy and I have one final volunteer class that I teach a Monday night. So that's going to be an exciting class. We're going to do um, troubleshooting and I think the students are going to show me some of the projects that they made. So I'm excited for that. And then um, I have one doctor appointment next week. So um, just a few things. And then of course I fly um, on Thursday. So for this part of the week, I'm thinking of just doing a little memory keeping. I'm probably going to bring this with me, maybe a couple of markers, just like the colors that I'm using this week, which are um, like this kind of teal blue and um, this the only green that I own currently until Christmas I'm pretty sure I'm getting some more Tombos for Christmas um, but this is a Tombow dual brush marker this is 373 and this is 126 so I was kind of going for a blue green theme since last week was uh, red and pink um, and I think it turned out really cute um, I'm gonna jot down December here and the week's focus um, is going to be family. If you've been watching my channel, you know that um, this may be my grandpa's last Christmas, so I'm really excited that we're going to see him just in case and definitely to, you know, um, to talk with him, to, you know, tell him that I love him in person at least one more time. Hopefully more, this is not the last time, but you know, at least one more time. Um, you know, and just kind of get to be with him. Um, so that's exciting for me. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just mark out the actual amount of time each of these things take because I find that is helpful. From a scheduling standpoint. For the most part, I'm a functional planner, but I will say like having the opportunity to come back in and like fill out what I did with like pretty markers and some stickers, you know, it actually does, you know, make me pay more attention to the planner um, and how I'm spending my time. Um, 
So let's talk about the to-dos that I'm carrying. I'm carrying some over from this week, certainly, but also I'll have some to-dos uh, before I take off uh, for my trip. So uh, for work, I will have all this stuff done. These things, some of the administrative stuff that comes up at the end of any semester, if you guys are academics, you know what I'm talking about. There's just some of these things, and I can guarantee I'm not going to get to this um, this week because of just how I'm prioritizing the students' um, projects. And But I'm betting I can knock all this out in like a single sitting, maybe Monday. So I'm thinking I can get all this stuff done this Monday, potentially, at the very least before I take off. So I think ooh, this might be the deadline for this. Well, we'll see. This might have to happen sooner, but I'm going to go ahead and put what I think the deadline is. Okay. Um, this is all stuff will be checked off or is checked off. Um, I'm doing extra laundry this week, but there's, I'm definitely going to want to do one load before I leave. And I'm just going to put cat care on here because it helps remind me to do that. And I will get some groceries for John too, just some minimal groceries because he's actually going to be watching my parents' dog um, because he works weekends in December, so he's going to go watch their dog over the weekend, but it wouldn't hurt to give him like a little bit of a few groceries to take with him. Ah, and then when it comes to the video schedule, I just don't, let's see, it's possible I will get through all, I'm going to film the plan with me that I would normally do this Friday. I'm going to film earlier because I'm going to be in California. So um, it's possible I'm going to do all those all those videos on this Monday. But I also have some time Sunday because John is working uh, some time to myself. So I might get through some of them then. So I just don't know yet which, um, which content things I'm going to carry over. I still have to do my blog today. I haven't done that yet, but that's on the to-do list. Okay. All right, so that's everything that I'm carrying over. The only thing, other thing is um, we are still plugging away on the adoption paperwork. That's why we're getting physicals done because they require physicals. Oh my gosh, you guys wouldn't believe. Maybe I should make a video someday on like all the things you need to get together for an adoption application, just in case you're ever thinking about doing it. Perhaps if that's something you want, please drop a comment in the, or drop a note in the comments on this video to let me know and I, I will do a video on that if you like. Um, and then I'm gonna have a few things that I need to do uh, for this. So I do need to do a little prep for this last volunteer class. I'm going to need to pack for California. Oh. And I'm going to need to make some treats to take with me because um, I didn't mail my grandpa or my aunts their treats when I mailed all the other treats. And if you want to take a look at that vlog, I just posted that this past Wednesday. Um, so you'll see kind of the process that I went through to get those treats in the mail, but I didn't do any for them because I'm going to see them. So I decided that I would carry the treats to them, but I need to make them. So that is gonna happen in this free time that I'll have. So pack, I need to make treats. I'm just gonna pop clean on here because I probably need to clean the house one more time before I leave. I just like coming back to a clean house and since my husband will be house sitting um, at, you know, my parents, at my parents' house, um, then it's not like he'll be around to, not that he's a messy person, but just, you know, it's nice to all come back to a nice clean house. So that's on the agenda as well. I think that's it for, I think that's it for things that I will need to do for next week. Yes. Um, so I'm planning on using most of the space for to-dos and memory keeping. You know, um, planning out kind of like when I'm gonna do all of this stuff in these days and then recording also anything else that happens in that day. Now let's talk about movies. Um, so I'm actually gonna need to shift because I made a list ahead of time. Like what I did is I basically, my husband and I sat down and we thought of all the Christmas movies that we liked and then we um, put them into categories. 
obviously some of these over like some of these categories some of these movies can be in multiple categories but we decided to um, basically break them down and if you guys have been watching my videos um, we started with classic Christmas movies so these are mostly black and white um, and we watched most of these now except for it's a wonderful life we've watched all of those then I have my cheesy AF holiday movies um, that's kind of a lot of the romantic ones we are slowly making our way through some of these and we even added two new ones. We added Castle for Christmas. I actually really liked it even though I feel like the co-stars are unevenly matched in beauty, but whatever. Um, and then we also added Love Hard. You should absolutely watch that. It's on Netflix. It's Netflix original. Um, watch it at the very least. Watch the uh, Baby It's Cold Outside singing scene because they revised the lyrics and it's like the best revision of that song I've ever heard so you should watch that. Um, this week is the theme is movies from the 90s slash 2000s. I don't know about you but half the time I think something is from the 90s it is from the early 2000s and I think that's just because that's how like how we conceptualize decades right. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and jot down the movies that I think go in this category that I love to watch every year. Um, so definitely Christmas at the Cranks. Um, this is actually based on a novel. I think the novel is named um, Skipping Christmas. I think it's a different, it's definitely a different name and I think that's what it is. Um, Holiday. Or actually, I think it's the hol is it holiday or the holiday? The one with Cameron Diaz. Um, anyway, it's good. You should watch it if you've never watched it. It's one of my favorite ones. I'll watch it not even in December. I'll watch it other times of the year because I like it so much. And then last holiday. And this has Queen Latifah in it, and you really need to see that. I mean, it's just wonderful. It's like very sort of like, you know, it's like kind of a fantasy. You go to this amazing resort and you eat all this amazing food and I don't know, just the visuals are great. Queen Latifah, of course, is amazing. So you need to watch that for sure. Um, Love Actually. I know people have very strong opinions about this movie. I would say it's probably not my favorite on this whole list, but I, I still like it. I still like certain aspects of it for sure. Like I love the couple that meet um, during the, um, when they're shooting the porno stand-ins. Um, I just think that's hilarious and I enjoy it. Something a little more, a little less comical is The Family Stone. That's a cute one. And similarly, kind of um, not as comical. Although The Family Stone does have some comedy in it, but The Family Man, which is definitely a drama, um, love that one too. And then we have Die Hard, of course. So, um, what do you think of my 90s slash early 2000s list of Christmas movies? Now, as I said, there are other movies I could put in this category, but I'm keeping them for other categories. Like the last two categories, let me see if I have any other categories. I have two more categories coming. And one is a comedy category and a kids category, which as you can imagine, overlap the most probably as categories go. But I did separate them out because like I see a real difference between, for example, Scrooged, which is definitely not, I think, designed for children and like, you know, um, Arthur Christmas. Right. <laughs> so I definitely see a difference between those types of movies, even though they both have comedy in them. Um, but this is sort of like these were the ones that I wasn't sure where they kind of fit because, you know, they are a little dramatic. They have a little bit of comedy like it's not kind of like as much in your face as, the, as some of the other comedic ones that I have. So I decided to put them in this category. So let me know in the comments if you have ones that you would add for the 90s slash early 2000s. Um, and, and that wouldn't be potentially in a comedy category or a kids category. Um, so hopefully that inspires you to do a little holiday movie watching. Uh, let me know again if you are watching other things. If so, what are you watching? 
So short and dirty um, plan with me for the week of December 13th through the 19th. I hope you guys had some fun watching um, how this all unfolds. If you want to see this blank space fill in, please follow me on Instagram. That is where I post um, kind of regular updates about how this time gets spent. Um, and you can see kind of uh, things changing over the week as things occur to me about what I need to do and when I need to do it. Um, I hope that things are going well with you in your life, that your December is going um, is going well for you, that you are able to um, get the things done that you need to get done, but also find time to enjoy the season. Coming up on this channel, I will have a video uh, in which I write out my winter bucket list. It is a little late potentially in the season for a bucket list of this kind, but I like to do it around this time because it reminds me of um, the things about specifically the Christmas season that I haven't done yet that I really want to do. The things I have done so I get to reflect a little bit on some of the fun stuff I've already done. Um, and then the, it reminds me that the winter season extends beyond the holiday season. So there are other things um, that I could look forward to, especially in January. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I can get into a bit of a funk because I have to like get back to work things and January doesn't have any like major family centered holidays in it. Uh, I mean, there are some holidays, but it's not the same um, kind of month as other months in the year. You know, for us, it's always like freezing cold and dreary outside. And like, so I need a little bit of a pick me up and it helps me to think like, what can I do in this season? Only in this season, make a bucket list and then motivate myself to kind of like do those things and to, you know, perk up my January a little bit. So anyhow, I'm going to post a video in which I go over my bucket list. I'm also going to post next Wednesday another vlog. Hopefully I will have vlogged for you fairly completely all the things I do to prepare for hosting a holiday party. So I love hosting parties. It's a huge aspect of my life normally. This year was a little bit wonky, um, but I'm hoping to end the year with a nice big party that I really enjoyed. So I am going to vlog it a little bit so you can see kind of the process and behind the scenes. And if you want to see some sneak peeks before that video posts, I will probably post a few to um, my stories on Instagram. So follow me there if you want. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more of this. Let me know if you want to see other things too. Please leave um, a note in the comments if you like, uh, or you know, shoot me a DM. And um, I will see you back here shortly. Thanks for watching.